Now, once again, I get some very upset people contacting me, telling them that they feel totally misled and deceived by some of the terminology and wording and directions that eBay has on the site. We're going to look at that today. Hey, it's done. Today we're going to look at something that I personally feel is completely and utterly misleading and deceiving. Something that eBay is doing and the wording that they are using on the site itself. Now we're going to hop over to eBay in just a second here, but this comes about because I constantly get people reaching out to me who are in dire need. They're not getting many sales. A lot of newer folks, folks who don't understand all the aspects of the site because it does take a little bit of time. Nothing wrong with that at all. But it's always down to the very same thing. Recommendations or statements that eBay makes on the actual site that are clearly and obviously, in my opinion, not correct and 100% misleading again, in my opinion, based on the factual stuff that we have looked into and as well as many other people have looked into also. Let's hop over and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So we're in my store, in the hub here. We're on the listings tab. One of the most misleading and, in my opinion, incorrect statements that eBay ever makes on here, click on an item, and then right here it says sell it fast. There is no guarantee whatsoever that anything that you click or use under this sell it fast option here is actually going to sell anything fast. Now this comes up because people are using this as a means to, in their mind, sell it fast because that's what eBay tells them. Now, when you click on something on here and you want to do something, you're going to see the option. A new person's going to go, oh, wow, sell it faster. Wow, I've got that option. Why didn't I just go ahead and sell it faster? Well, again, there's no guarantee at all in the world that that does anything. So it's completely and utterly misleading. It's, it's telling you that I'm going to sell it faster if I use these options. There is one option in here that has some basis on why it would sell faster. But when you click on here, the first option people use, because again, they assume that they're in an order, they're not alphabetical. The order that they are is how much eBay wants you to do them. Doesn't mean it's going to help you. Now, if you look up here, I have 6,621 item specifics that have been recommended to me for like a year. We filled in some of these in the past. I had 8,000 at one time. I did 4,200 of them. I left 4,200 and did not fill those in. The 4,200 item specifics that I filled in that were only recommended, I got less sales on the ones that I filled them in with than the ones that I didn't fill in. So basically, I compared 4,200 listings that I filled in the recommended ones and then 4,200 all like-to-like -like items that I didn't fill them in. The ones that I had better sales were the ones that I did not fill in at item specifics. You can go back and see the video. You can see that I had 8,000. You can see the 4,000 that I added on. And I explained it in that video too from quite a few months ago. The item specifics, unless it's required, I won't do them anymore because for a postcard, I might have 40 item specifics that are completely useless to a collector. All it does is give eBay information that's useless to anybody looking for those items. And that goes for most of the ones in my areas. Now, if you've got a shirt and there's item specifics for size, color, um, whether it's male, female, V-neck or something like that, all that stuff's important. But for a vintage piece of paper or comic book or something, if someone is looking for a Superman comic book, the title is going to be Superman. Why are you going to have to put in Superman two more times to put the main character, the main theme? There's so many reasons why the item specifics are a total waste of your time. I've had people tell me in the last week that they did them thinking that's going to get them sales. They spent hours, 10, 15 hours of their time putting them in on tons of their listings and nothing happened at all. This order they have here is what they want. It doesn't mean it's going to help you at all. Now, there are some reasons why you should promote some items. If you're in a flooded category, like clothing or books or something like that, it could get you some better sales by promoting them. But the majority of what we sell, and I mean 95% or better, probably 99% of what I sell, vintage collectibles, antiques, comics, movies, cards, and all that stuff, it's not going to matter. So telling me that I will sell it faster by using these is totally misleading and 100% not correct for the majority of people who contact me. As I said, there is one option in here that will help you, though. 
The only reason that this one option on here is an option that will possibly get you a sale fast is because someone had to watch the item, click a button, click into your listing, or just look at your listing itself. Those are the type of people that you will be able to send an offer to. People who already had some form of interest in your item. Promoting it's not going to change that. For me, I don't promote or pay eBay a dime to promote my listings. For most of the vintage and collectibles, one-offs and one-of-a-kinds, it's going to take the right person to buy it. It's going to take the right person to see your listing. And promoting it doesn't guarantee you that at all. None of that guarantees you a sell it fast option. That term, that wording should never be on there because it fools so many people into thinking I should be getting sales by doing these options because eBay says I will sell it faster. There's no disclaimer on there whatsoever that says that's not true or your, your results may vary. It just says you're going to sell it faster. That is complete false advertising again, in my opinion. I would have never put that on anything if it was my business, my line, my statement at all. Because I'm claiming it's going to sell it faster. Every other button on here means something. You've got action buttons, end listing, change to auction. Everything on here means exactly what it says. Sell similar here. Again, that means exactly what it says. Edit. That means exactly what it says. Sell it faster does not mean those items will sell faster. Promoting it or not, eBay, even if you go ahead and say I'm going to promote it, eBay does not have to physically promote your items at all. It literally says that in the user agreement. eBay doesn't even have to show your items at all. Even if you're paying, they do not have to show them. Again, that is in the user agreement. I've shown those pages before. I've got videos going over the user agreement showing line by line those exact statements from eBay stating they don't have to show your items. Promoted items too. There are several different types of promoted items. I won't pay per view on items ever on any of my items that I have here. If you're doing wholesale or you've got massive amounts of the same NOS or something and they're replenishable, the pay per view item can work. That pay per view option is a doable option. I've used it on other platforms and it does work, but for vintage collectibles, one offs, you're just wasting your time and wasting your money. There is no guarantee, even if you do promote it, that it wouldn't have sold anyway, even if you didn't promote it. Most of the items that I have just take the right person to be searching at any given time and using the right words to see my items. Whatever I do doesn't really matter if the person isn't there. There's nobody there. If you do the promoted, you're spending money. You're giving eBay more money right off the top of the bat. Every other option in here is, is pretty explanatory, but to sell it faster is completely misleading. If you're new, you're someone new, and you think that using these options is going to guarantee you that you're going to sell it faster, you would be wrong and mistaken most all of the time. The only one, again, that is good is the send offer for us because it's someone already interested in my items. They already looked at them. If they wouldn't have looked at them, I wouldn't be able to send offers out. That's how that works. Now, add best offer. That's what it does. It adds best offer, which literally buy it now or best offer. It adds that option to all of your listings. That's a good option. But again, it doesn't guarantee anybody they're going to sell anything faster. It's very bothersome to get people with two kids contacting me and stating they've been going through, they've been filling in item specifics, they tried promoting them because eBay said they will sell it faster and they're just wasting time when they could have been doing other things to get more money coming in, more revenue and have more items sell. Edit best offer. Add volume pricing. Again, edit best offer isn't necessarily going to do anything for you. You could raise it. You could lower it. Adding best offer as well, if your price is too high, isn't going to do you anything either way anyway. Or if you're not going to accept an offer that comes in, why worry about adding it as well? So even though it says sell it faster, that is not the case. Don't trust what that says. Just as well what I said with the listing quality report. eBay has a listing quality report that will show you things they say will help you improve your listings. So here is my listing quality report. I'm selling postcards. These are topographical postcards. They're telling me I should have five photos on a postcard. Now I take two images. It's done with a duplex scanner. It's scanned once and it does front and back. I also upload the front image twice and do a zoom in. So I have three. That's all you need with a good image. This is just taking time for something you would never ever have to use. 
This is just a waste of your time. The listing quality report is a joke and always has been, in my opinion. Nothing on this report has been helpful, useful at all. If I followed the rules on here, I would be spending 20, 30 extra hours a week trying to make eBay happy with this. All of them are telling me the same thing. I need to go back in and add five photos for everything. Again, complete waste of time. My images are high quality. They're 600 DPI. They fill the screen when someone hovers over them. There is no reason on earth to make me do three more images of the exact same thing. I would have to upload the same image three more extra times for nothing. Now this one's telling me to enter brand names. We're talking about vintage labels here that are companies that don't exist, oddball ones. They're already in the title. That's how people find my listings through the title. Victorian trade cards telling me I should have five photos again for something that's blown up to fill up the entire screen both sides. There is nothing missing, nothing extra that would help them buy my items over other people. And on top of that, my items sell for more than the majority of people selling the exact same thing. So if I'm supposed to judge them knowing what they're talking about when mine sell better than everybody else, even the ones that they say have five images, this is BS. It's a complete waste of time. This is occupying seller's time for no reason whatsoever. There has been nothing on this sheet that I have found that's been helpful to me personally. A buyer who is looking for your items and they find out you only have two, two images and the images are perfectly fine, isn't going to say, I'm not going to buy it because you don't have five images. This is some arbitrary number that eBay just made up, and that's what their basis is on. They're comparing, again, apples to oranges. Does a T-shirt or a dress shirt or a pair of pants or a pair of shoes need five images? Yes. Now, eBay as well says, well, you can figure out what's not showing up on Google Shopping by using this option. Now, mind you, I have 30 thousand listings up on eBay right now just on the store I share with you I have two listings and if you look at the listings themselves which I have done the images are not too small there is nothing wrong with the images themselves and in fact I can find the image on Google so is eBay right or is eBay feeding me a line because they want me to fill in stuff that's, again, completely useless? You're losing money by spending the time filling these junk items in, adding useless photos when everything is clearly shown and available to the buyer. If they need more photos, they're going to ask you if they're interested in the item. I never get asked for more photos. The items I sell very regularly, our sales have been fourth quarter straight across the board. We have no issues with sales. So again, why should I do any of this stuff here? This is, again, useless. A piece of paper that you can clearly see both sides, high resolution that shows up three or four times the actual size of the actual item is all you need for these. So with sell it fast, don't trust what that says. They really should change that again. That is honestly, in my opinion, false advertising. There is no guarantees that anything will sell faster. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Hyper driver and feel those tires spin. Hyper drivers, each sold separately, batteries not included from Taka.